Hello, I am Neeraj. So today I will try to discuss about graph attention networks. For this I will try to cover one very important paper. I will give uh, the details in the description box also. So, but before going into the details, first of all, let us try to understand why we need the graph attention. We read it uh, in the traditional uh, computer vision NLP, but why we need the attention mechanism is graph. So, actually what happens, when we try to compute anything on graph, like uh, link prediction, node prediction, node classification, link classification, in the graph neural network, first of all we compute the node embedding. To compute the node embedding, we depend upon the nearest neighbor. For example, suppose we take uh, compute the node embedding for node A. Then we will depend upon and uh, we are just selecting a very simplest process to compute the node embedding by using the directly connected one hope nearest neighbor. So it is B, C and D. Now, after getting the node embedding, we apply that information for node classification or any other graph application. But it will be very important if we know that which of the connected or neighbor node is playing more important role or more important for any given node A, then we can do the task in a more better way. That's why we use the graph attention network so that we can get the information that how important a particular connected node to the graph, uh, sorry, to the target node. So, for example, suppose in this case, if we want to know that how important a particular node B for A, then according to the formula, we will compute like A, B and we will apply some learnable function A and then take the weight matrix H A, weight matrix H B, that is concatenation. So, in, if we design a neural network for that, then it will be like that. The weight matrix W and vector H A and weight matrix W and vector H B will be concatenated and a part of the aggregation function and this will be the part of non-linearity. And after that, the output of this single node neural network gives that how important B is for A. But this value is useful, useless until we don't know how relatively or contextually B is important with respect to all other connected nodes. So what we do? We pass, we calculate all the values for all the nodes for example a c and then we will calculate it for a and b and then we will calculate the softmax means how B is important in the case of A and B. So in that case what will be happen? We will calculate the exponential of E, A, B and then take the summation like EXP of 
e a b plus a x b exponential of e a c plus exponential of e a d by this way we will get the information like how a b is relatively important with respect to all other nodes so this will give the contextual information like how a particular node b is contextually important for node a and we can write it in the form of like alpha a b now we can generalize this equation like like it is given here like uh, in the form of node i j w h i and then they have calculated the soft mix like alpha i j equal to soft mix with respect to j they calculated e i j in a very simple way like uh, exponential of e i j divided by some k member of all nearest neighbor and then we take the exponential of e i k so this is the way now the important part is another important part that is listed in this paper is instead of taking just a simple non linearity like tenage or anything they suggested to use the leaky relu because leaky relu can easily handle the vanishing gradient cases if we are handling multiple times we are handling the negative gradient related issues and for that they have given an input slope value alpha equal to 0.2 so after that they changed the equation means they updated this equation where our eij is just uh, this function so they changed this part through a leaky relu and then take the transpose operations and concatenate whi this is a source and from where the target node is sorry this is the source node and this is the main node and the, this is whj is the target for your neighbor node which are coming here and then take the division with respect to all possible uh, neighborhood nodes so based on that uh, the system get the contextual information about how a particular node for example in this case how b is with respect to b c d b is contextually important for a now what will be the output for a means you got that how b is important c is important d is important but how to utilize and get the output value in the form of node embedding after getting all this information so this is the next part so in that case if we represent a as node i i node then they have computed it as h i dash vector as sigmoid that is a non linearity and then take the summation operation for all the nearest neighbor nodes in i and then took the alpha i j that is computed here and then take the weight matrix and then take the vector wj that is uh, coming for the nearest neighbor node so it may be like b c d with all it will be multiplied with this factor that we come to contextual importance that we computed here by this way you can get the 
impact of imp relative importance of those nodes in the final embedding output for the source node A. So this is one of the way. Now, suppose we have multiple such kind of independent attentions. They have actually brought this concept from sorry Vaswani EPL multi head attention paper 2017 that if k independent such kind of attention mechanism are present then we can conquete all the information and use it so here in this figure they have identified to con concate such kind of three head attentions to get the embeddings for node h1 so similarly we can do the same thing but the only changes they made in the in this equation and this equation is they have applied calculated k such kind of attentions and concated the weight for all of those attentions for a given node i so for j for all nearest neighbor they have computed those nodes and then added it now in this paper they have considered one scenarios like if we perform multi-head attention on a final prediction layer of the network, concatenation no longer sensible instead we employ averaging and delay applying the final non-linearity, usually softmax or logistic sigmoid for classification problem. So for that, uh, author suggested to take the average of the computations instead of concating because if we have a huge number of nodes that are connected to a particular node and then instead of creating a huge set of uh, concated vector you can take the average of all such computations like multi-head output computations then after that we can apply some classification or softmax or anything kind of thing uh, in that embedded output so this is one of the suggestions that authors had given so i think that uh, you found that uh, this concept is very much easy and uh, easy to understand but if you want to go into more depth like how multi-head attention actually defined, how it is working, how self-attention is working, then I have given the reference link in the description box. So I found, I hope that uh, you will find this uh, tutorial very, very easy to understand.